video you are about to see was filmed in November of last year. Shortly thereafter, the tragic terrorist attacks in New Orleans, Louisiana and Munich, Germany took place. Since that time, law enforcement and public works departments from municipalities all across the country have started to really look into their perimeter security at their public events, their special events, and anywhere that you have a common gathering of people. If you're looking to enhance your perimeter security, you need to be looking into a vehicle barrier solution. The objective of this video is to help you with questions to ask when doing your due diligence process. Hey guys, I'm Chase Tobin, National Sales Manager at Arcs Perimeters, and today we'll be discussing what to look for in your hostile vehicle mitigation barriers. As we know, vehicle attacks have been an increasing issue for society over the past few decades, but specifically over the past 10 years. Between 2014 and 2017, there were 17 vehicle attacks in the United States. If you really think about what it takes to plan a coordinated terror attack with guns and explosives, you need a lot of entities working together to cause massive amounts of chaos in your community. Whereas with a vehicle attack, all it takes is one person to get in a vehicle and have a bad day. To mitigate these potential attacks, law enforcement, city planners, and public works need a simple solution to deny these threats. This is where hostile vehicle mitigation barriers come into play. All right, first off, what type of vehicle barriers should you invest in? This question comes down to two things. Do your vehicle barriers need to be passive or permanent or do they need to be active or mobile barriers? If you're a federal or state agency or a defense organization, you're probably going to be looking for something more on the permanent side of the barrier world. You might be looking for bollards, permanent wedge barriers, or any other type of barrier system that's typically installed during your initial construction of your facility. If you're in law enforcement or public works, and again, your whole focus is to operate a farmer's market or a concert in your city, you may need something, an HVM barrier, that you can deploy at a moment's notice. And these mobile vehicle barriers allow you to do just that. The active vehicle barriers are popular for special events that require temporary street closures instead of the permanent ones like we talked about before. Again, farmers markets, sporting events, concerts, music festivals, parades, whatever you've got going on in your community, and on the higher end of the security echelon, even at a military checkpoint, all of these can use HVM barriers or mobile vehicle barriers. The objective remains the same, is to provide a secure perimeter to deter and deny the intentional loss of life or harm to the people within the event you're trying or the site you're trying to secure. Next, we wanna talk about crash tested and certified vehicle barriers. So, now that we've identified what HVM barrier that we need, next thing we need to do is to know if these barriers have been crash tested and crash certified. There's a lot of different certifications and crash tests around the world. If you want more information on that, we just did a video, check it down in the description box below. It'll go into the various testing uh, that are conducted around the globe. But you want to ensure that whichever system you choose, it needs to be tested and certified. One thing that is super important for your mobile vehicle barriers, do they have wheels on them that you can actually move your system? If they have wheels on them, is the system tested specifically with the wheels on? If so, are they tested with the wheels on or the wheels off? This is super important for you as a city planner or a law enforcement professional to do your due diligence to make sure you get a clear and accurate answer to this question. This is truly talking about life-saving potential. Our final point today, what are we gonna do about storage, transport, and deployment of our HVM barriers. When you're considering and researching your mobile vehicle barrier, you need to ask yourself three questions. How am I going to store these barriers? How am I going to transport these barriers? And how quickly and easily can I deploy these barriers? Here at Arcs Perimeters, we provided a lot of barriers to organizations all across the US. And these points of interest are covered. Solutions like our Pentagon F-18 mobile vehicle barrier and our barrier trailer kit is an excellent example of how a mobile vehicle barrier system provides not only your storage, but your transport, deployment, and recovery for setting up your events. All right, guys, that's it for this video. My name is Chase Tobin. If you have any questions about HVM vehicle barriers, please reach out to me at info at arcsperimeters.com. Make sure you visit the website, www.arcsperimeters.com. Thank you for watching.